Hi, welcome to Beth's Stories. This is the Adventures of Packy the Rat Podcast, Episode 3. Howdy, partner. All seven children had climbed into their beds and were nearly asleep. Their mother whispered good night as she tiptoed toward the door. Well, she was almost out the door when she heard the children pop up and say, Wait, wait, we didn't get a story. We want to hear what happened to Packy and Priscilla when they went back to the barn. Oh, oh, all right, said their mother. I almost forgot. Hmm, let me think about where our last episode left off. Oh, yes, they were riding back to the barn on Buddy again. Their mother sat back down and began another story about the adventures of Packy the Rat. At the end of the last adventure, Packy had acquired a long string, and Priscilla had a bunch of pretty purple flowers, and they were riding on the back of Buddy's back again. Well, Packy had the string looped around his shoulder, and he sat up front talking with Buddy. And Priscilla sat right behind Packy, holding on to him with one paw and her beautiful purple flowers in her other paw. Well, now there was a storm on the way, and the wind was picking up, and the rain had begun. Buddy said, This looks like a big storm heading our way. Buddy moved as fast as he could, careful not to let Packy and Priscilla fall off as he pushed against the wind. Well, a strong gust of wind blew some of Priscilla's beautiful purple flowers right out of her paws. Well, she reached out to grab them, and the wind blew her right off Buddy, and she fell to the ground. Priscilla screamed, Hey, hey, help! as she quickly ran about grabbing her flowers that had dropped. Pecky threw his string down to her, and Priscilla grabbed the string and held on with all her might. Pecky tried to pull her up, but the wind was too strong. It flew her into the air like a kite. Pecky yelled down to Buddy, Hey, Buddy, stop! 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 But Buddy could not hear him against the wind. And another gust of wind blew Priscilla to the right and then to the left. Priscilla was sailing every which way. Pecky almost lost his grip when Priscilla came crashing down right on Buddy's head. Buddy said, What are you doing on my head, Priscilla? I can't see anything when you're covering my eyes. Priscilla shouted back, Oh, I fell off, and Packy tried to pull me up. The wind's just too, too. Just then, Packy gave one final tug, and Priscilla swung back up in the air and landed right back behind Packy, flowers and all. That was a close one. Packy shouted back, Now hold on and don't do that again. And Priscilla just grabbed onto Packy and held onto her pretty purple flowers. But now don't you worry. Buddy got them to the barn without any more incidents. And when they arrived at the barn, Packy, Priscilla, and Buddy were soaked. The wind was so strong, they barely got the barn doors open. They pulled and pulled, and the door finally swung open, and they rushed inside. All the barn animals in the barn just stared at them. They didn't recognize the three of them. They were so soaked from the rain, and the wind had blown their fur back to stick straight up. Well, it was Ginger who recognized them first. Oh, good heavens, not those two again, said Ginger, and she was just about to say her nest was too full when Buddy walked right past her and edged up next to his old friend Henry the horse. Howdy, partner, Buddy said very hopefully. Do you mind if Packy and Priscilla wait the rainstorm out in here with you? Packy chimed in. We'll be heading to the farmhouse as, as soon as the storm is over. Well, Henry was obliged to help out. Why, of course, I'd love some company. This looks like a doozy of a storm, I reckon. Oh, Packy and Priscilla hopped off Buddy and climbed up into the stall with Henry. It was a very large open space. Packy and Priscilla set their things in the corner. They didn't realize that Henry was such a very large horse. Well, they had to climb up onto the feeding trough to be able to talk to him. So, partner, 
Henry said to Packy. What do you plan to do with that lasso you got there? Packy shrugged. Oh, oh, this old string. Uh, I just found this up in the farmhouse with the crate of feathers. Um, but what is a lasso? Henry replied. A lasso is a rope with a noose or a circle at one end. Cowboys use them to catch cattle. Packy perked up. Really? Well, that, that sounds fun. Can you teach me? Sure I can, said Henry. So Packy tied a circle around one end of the string to make the noose or the part of the lasso they'll use to rope something. And Henry told them to start swinging the string around and around. Packy swung the string around and around and he swung it up and over his head and around and around. Well, he was getting a good rhythm swinging that lasso and Henry said, yes, that's it. Now while you're swinging the string, you throw your arm towards that bottle, but keep holding on to that string, don't let go, and let's see if you can lasso that bottle. Packy gave one more swing around his head, then threw his arm out, still holding the string. Then the part with the circle on the end landed beside the bottle, about a foot short. However, the lasso just fell to the ground. It didn't even touch the bottle. Oh, corn nuggets, said Packy. Not even close. Oh, don't you fret, Packy. It takes practice. Let's try again, said Henry. So Packy and Henry practiced and practiced lassoing that bottle nearly all day. Again and again and again. While outside, the storm was pretty bad and it rained and it rained and it rained. In fact, it rained so hard and so fast, the barn began to flood. Water started pouring in under the door. The water level was getting higher and higher and higher. Packy started seeing bottles and brushes float by. Oh, wow, said Packy. The rain is flooding the barn. But the flood was causing other problems. One of Ginger's goslings had fallen into the water. And the water was rushing through the barn and right out the back door. The poor little gosling was getting pushed down and under the water. The baby gosling was headed right out of the barn. Honk, 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 squawked Ginger. Help, help, help. My baby doesn't know how to swim yet. Oh, hiss, 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 the storm, said Ginger angrily. Someone help my baby. Packy didn't hesitate. He jumped into action. He got as close as he could get to the flooding water and the drowning baby gosling. He shouted, Hold on, little guy, I'll help you. Oh, boy. Now, to be honest, things did not look good for Ginger and her baby gosling. See, Packy has never successfully lassoed anything yet. And now he's going to try to lasso a drowning baby gosling when water is flowing and pushing him out and under the barn? No, sir, this did not look good. Now, all barn eyes were on Packy and the baby gosling, wondering if Packy could save the gosling and worried the water might take that gosling right out of the barn to the big stream. Packy was swinging his lasso again and again. He tried to lasso and catch the little gosling, but it wasn't working. He hadn't had enough practice. He wound up the string one more time, and he swung it around and around. Honk, honk, honk! Hurry, Packy, said Ginger. My gosling has not learned how to swim yet. Hiss, hiss. Henry made... You can do this, Packy. Just aim your lasso right at that baby gosling. Packy took a breath. He closed his eyes. He swung his lasso around and around and then out towards the baby gosling. He was afraid to open his eyes. But he heard, Honk! 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 Ginger squawked. The rat did it! He saved my baby! Oh, thank goodness! Packy opened his eyes. He jumped up and down. I did it. I did it. Well, you did it, partner, Nate Henry. Now be careful. Just pull him towards you slowly so you don't lose him. Carefully and slowly, Packy pulled the baby gosling in. The baby gosling was scared and it flapped its wings. Packy was calm and strong and just said, It's okay. It's okay. I got you. And then the, the baby gosling pulled to safety. Ginger honked and honked for joy. Hooray for Packy! You did it, Packy! Thank you, Packy! Ginger honked. Packy was so proud of himself. He swung his lasso over his head around and around and around and again like a real cowboy. 
and Ginger was so relieved and so thankful for Packy rescuing her little gosling. But wait, hold on. Where where was Priscilla this whole time? Packy wondered. He started looking around to try to spot her. Oh, then he saw her waving a cowgirl hat over her head and shouted, Yippee! Yay for Packy, our hero! You see, while Packy had been practicing his lasso, Priscilla had been busy herself. Priscilla had made a cozy little corner in Henry's stall. She gathered a bunch of clean, dry straw that is used to line a horse's stall floor. Oh, and she made a nice little spot for herself and Packy. Uh, then she started fiddling around with the straw and came up with an idea. Hmm. She thought she could weave the straw. She wondered what should she weave. Hmm. A blanket? A cup? Oh. Then she thought, a hat. I'm going to weave myself a cowgirl hat. So she was busy weaving and designing her hat all the while Packy was busy learning how to throw a lasso. Priscilla had woven her hat in no time, and she placed her pretty purple flowers around the brim of the hat. Oh, yes, indeed, this was one cute cowgirl hat. In fact, she had just finished her hat when she heard all that commotion, and the baby gosling was caught in the flooding water. Priscilla watched as Packy tried again and again to save the gosling, and when he finally caught the gosling, Priscilla cheered and cheered and waved her hat. Well, and that is when Packy saw her. Well, and now you have to admit, those two had had quite a day in the barn, playing cowboy and cowgirl, and Packy and Priscilla were doing a rather good job. It was exciting and fun. In fact, they were doing so good. It had given Packy an idea. He could use the lasso. Packy decided that they could, the lasso would be a perfect way to get back into the farmhouse. Well, as soon as the storm was over, that is. He told Priscilla his great idea to use the lasso to rope and swing them into that little door in the corner of the farmhouse. Well, Priscilla thought it was a great idea, but she said, you better keep practicing, though. So for the rest of the storm, Packy practiced and practiced and planned how he would use the lasso to help them get back into that farmhouse. Packy had gotten really good using his lasso, why he could rope and swing that lasso quite successfully now. And just in time, because now the storm had finally subsided, and that means they'll be heading back up to the farmhouse. So, early the next morning when that sun came up, Packy and Priscilla hopped onto Buddy's back and shouted, Giddy up! and waved goodbye to the barn animals again. They were ready and eager to head back up to the farmhouse. Watch out, Celia, because here comes Cowboy Packy the Rat with his lasso, and don't forget at his side, Cowgirl Priscilla, wearing her beautiful cowgirl hat. Ready or not, Celia, here they come.
And now, we're going to have to wait to find out what happens as Packing Priscilla... And now, we're going to have to wait to find out what happens to Packy and Priscilla in our next episode as Packy and Priscilla try to get back into the farmhouse and claim their home back. So buckle up. It'll be quite a ride. And catch you next time, partner. Before we go, did you know goats and horses really like each other's company and are friends and are very social with each other on a farm? And yeah, most goslings will learn to swim at about two weeks of age. It was a good thing Packy was there to help Ginger and her baby gosling. Thanks for listening to the adventures of Packy the Rat Podcast by Beth's Stories.